Okay, next one, example 9. A car of mass 2,000 kg rounds a circular turn of radius 20 meter. The road is flat and the coefficient of static friction between tyres and the road is 0 0.7. First, sketch a free body diagram of the car. And next one, determine the maximum car speed without skidding. Okay, so kita ada kereta dekat sini and this car is going around a curved track. Okay, curved track ni ada radius which is 20 meter and the mass of the car is 2000 kg. And then we are also given the coefficient of static friction. Okay, so apabila kereta ni dekat jalan raya, obviously kita tahu dia akan ada, dia akan ada friction force which is friction force dekat sini kita sudah dibagi. It is actually towards the center of the of the curve track, okay, of the circular turn. So this one, kita hanya di, uh, dibagi a part of the circular turn. Actually, dia adalah towards the center. So, friction force dekat sini adalah sama dengan centripetal force. Okay, di mana centripetal force ni adalah, um, dia punya fungsi centripetal force ni adalah to keep, to keep the object or the car moving in a circular path supaya dia sentiasa sentiasa bergerak dalam circular path dia tidak akan uh, dia tidak akan lari ke kanan ke, ke kiri tidak dia akan keep moving in circular path so that is the function of centripetal force di mana dalam situasi ini kita kita panggil dia sebagai uh, friction force okay friction force dekat sinilah yang menyebabkan kereta ni tetap bergerak dalam circular motion. Okay, so first of all what we need is we need to draw FBD. So dekat dalam figure ni kita sudah dibagi um, kita sudah dibagi forces yang terlibat the, uh, acting on this car which is we have normal force, weight force and friction force. So you just buat satu FBD, start with a dot and then going downward is mg going upward is normal force and to the left is the friction force and remember friction force going um kalau dekat sini kan friction force ni dia towards the center so sama lah acceleration pun towards the center so this one kita transfer dekat fbd dia adalah going to the left Okay, next one is determine the maximum car speed without skidding. So, what we want here is the value for V. Okay, let me write down here. Value for V. Okay, so how do we find value for V? So, kita tahu daripada FBD kita boleh keluarkan, keluarkan X axis dan Y axis. Okay, X axis dan Y axis. Okay, tetapi because we want to find V, right? Velocity. So, motion dekat sini hanya ada pada, hanya ada pada um, X axis saja. So, kita boleh keluarkan, kita boleh keluarkan X axis, which is sama dengan M AC. Di mana AC, acceleration adalah sama dengan V square divided by R. Okay, so masukkan di mana FX kita Ada satu saja force which is Fs. So, Fs follow AC, dia akan jadi positif. Sama dengan mv square divided by R. So, what we want is value for V. Okay. So, now, um, since we are not given this one, the value for Fs, tetapi kita dibagi the coefficient, which is this one. Kita dibagi coefficient, so kita akan tulis in terms of the coefficient which is mu s n equal to m v square divided by r. Okay, so this one kita ada. Radius ada, mass ada. Okay, tetapi we don't have value for n. Kita tiada value for n. So, maksudnya kita still kena keluarkan juga information dekat y component. So, okay, kita akan keluarkan information dekat y component. So, dekat Y component, the sum of Fy will be equal to 0 because we don't have any motion here. Okay, motion, which is acceleration, hanya ada di X component saja dekat sini. 
so here we can say n minus m sorry this one mg n minus mg adalah sama dengan kosong so bermaksud n adalah sama dengan mg so n sama dengan mg you just substitute here it will be mu s mg sama dengan mv square divided by r so m kita boleh cancel and then yang lain kamu boleh substitute masukkan lah uh, value yang ada 0.7 okay, sama dengan oh wait, darab 9.81 sama dengan v square divided by r which is 20 v sama dengan 11.72 meter per second okay next one example 10 a rider of mass 60 kg rides on a ferris wheel as shown in the figure the rider moves in a vertical circle of radius 10 meter at a constant speed of 3 meter per second calculate the normal force exerted on the rider Okay, first, when the rider is at the bottom of the ride, which is here, at the bottom. Second is when the rider is at the top of the ride, which is here. Okay, so we are given the mass of the of the um, rider here, 60 kg. And then we are given the radius of the ferris wheel. So this is the ferris wheel and radius is 10 meter. From the center to here, 10 meter. And these are moving at a constant speed of 3 meter per second. And now we want is the normal force exerted on the rider. Okay. So, let's look at when the rider is at the bottom of the ride. So, kita sudah dibagi dekat sini apa force yang acts on the rider. So, ada dua saja. Satu adalah normal force. Kenapa ada normal force? Because the rider is sitting on a surface. Okay, apabila ada surface, akan ada normal force. Dan kita tahu juga, okay, usually kita akan ada weight force going downward. Okay, so dia dekat bawah kan, dekat sini. So, kita kena tentukan direction of acceleration. So, acceleration kalau dekat bawah, it will be going towards the center here. Which is sama direction dengan normal force. Okay, it will be it will be the same direction as normal force. So we want to find the value for n, right? So keluarkan the sum of f y sama dengan m a c. So n same direction with a. So n akan jadi positive, then m g akan jadi negative. Okay, so um. This one here, AC kita kena ubah kepada V square. V square divided by R. Sebab kita ada information in terms of in terms of V and R here. This one is the mass. Okay, so kita boleh cari value untuk normal force. Okay, dan masukkanlah value yang ada di sini. So, tekan calculator akan dapat normal force sama dengan 642.6 Newton. Okay, so next one at the top of the right which is here. So, tentukan the direction of acceleration which is towards the center here. So, dia adalah ke bawah which is ke bawah sini. Direction yang sama dengan mg. Okay, so direction yang sama dengan mg apabila kita keluarkan fy. Okay, yang sama dengan ac adalah mg. So, it will be positive. Okay, mg akan jadi positif. N akan jadi negatif. Okay, N negatif sebab dia adalah opposite direction as dac. Okay, benda yang sama lah kita akan ulang banyak kali. Sudah kan benda ni. So, now... This one AC terus masuk kepada V square. V square divided by R. So, just masukkan yang lain. 
um, information yang ada which is M still sama So tekan calculator you will get N is equal to 5 3 4.6 Newton